Have a great day, everyone. Welcome again to another series of talks. And this time, we are going to have Philippine popular culture or the Philippine pop culture. So I'm going to share to you and impart to you, our dear students, on the discussion, on the introduction to the study of culture and defining popular culture. So let me share the screen of our presentation for this day. I hope that you will learn something from today's discussion. But before we start our discussion, um, there are several tasks to be given while you are watching this, uh, while you are having this discussion. There are some questions to be asked in the start, in the middle, and in the la latter part of the discussion. So we will use the chat box the comment section and chat box there are questions to be asked in the chat box so you are required to answer for me to monitor your attendance so meaning to say for your participation and attendance you need to write an answer to every question being asked in the comment section or in the chat box so from time to time uh, please check your comment section or your chat chat box for you to answer several or series of questions while we have this discussion. Okay, to start, let me share the presentation of our discussion for this day. I am asking your total participation, your authenticness, and of course, your attention for this discussion. Okay, so I welcome you again to our school year 2022 to 2023, our dear students. So you are officially enrolled to this course. This might be a Jack Elect 2 or Jack Elect 1, depending on the course that you are enrolled to. But what is common? This is Philippine pop culture or Philippine popular culture. So we are going to talk about right now the introduction to the study of culture. So if we are, uh, if you are new to this channel for this video, thank you so much for visiting and clicking this video. I hope that you can learn something from this discussion on the study of culture. So don't forget to subscribe and click the subscribe button and like the video for you to be updated of several videos which is related to culture and society. Okay, to start. The study of culture, Philippine pop culture. So by the way, I'm Mr. Rene Hapitana, your social science instructor. So we are talking about social science right now because the subject Philippine pop culture is under the Department of Social Sciences. So let's also define popular culture. This is part of the discussion uh, for, for today, the study of culture, the introduction to the study of culture and we also going to define what is popular culture. So I have here pictures. I hope you can see the pictures. So my first question that you need to write in the, for, in the comment section or in the chat box is to give your idea of the picture, this one. So what comes to your mind? You know, we have this. So there are pictures over here. Can you give me your thoughts? What are your thoughts of the picture on the left side and including this one? Okay, so I am waiting for your answer on the comment section or in the chat box. Okay, I can see answer like sports. Yes, correct. We have also entertainment. Yes, that's correct. No? Um, I can also see answer here telling me that it is a varied individuals, different practices. Okay, that's good. And in the lower part, we can see technology. Yes, correct. That's a good answer. Thank you so much. So on the right side, so for those who are not able to answer in the comment section or in the chat box, uh, you need to answer so that you will be graded of that participation. So on the right side here, we can see different technology. 
and the social media like this one this is part of uh devices no playstation video games whatsapp facebook and the rest so in one picture in 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 the analysis of this picture we can say that these are what we call popular culture okay so before we proceed no another question so question number two what comes to your mind when you hear the word culture? Again, I'll repeat. What comes to your mind when you hear the word culture? Okay, i give you a minute to answer. Okay. You can write a single word. You can also write in a phrase. You can also write in sentence. So, Write anything that you know about culture. So what comes to your mind when you hear the word culture? If you try to understand or if you try to re recall information, even during your great, your uh, elementary years, your Aralim Panlipunan or Hikasi teacher, uh, they were able to talk, to, te to teach you uh, subject culture, no? Sibika Cultura, no? So I can see right now, thank you so much for your answer. I can see answer, way of living. Okay, that's a good answer, no? Do not be uh, shy to write your answer because there are no wrong questions right now. No wrong questions. Meaning to say, all are correct or all might be not correct. So just share your thoughts on the word culture. Okay, I can also see in the comment section or in the chat box, we have answer tradition, beliefs, okay, practices, okay. So, to sum up your answer, no? So, make sure that you were able to chat your answer, uh, write your answer in the comment section or in the chat box, okay? That's good. So, that is culture, no? Uh, later, we will be able to uh, define what is culture, no? according to the different sources. So another question, question number three, number three, we have right now the word co popular culture. So uh, popular. So what comes to your mind when you hear the word popular? Popular. We have been into the different uh, settings in our life that we can hear the word popular. Oy, kano siya kay? Popular lagi na siya kayo. Huh? Okay, so write a word that could be associated with the word popular. Okay, correct. I can see answer saying that. That is present. Okay, sikat. Okay, I can see uso. Mm, that's good answer. Okay, what else? Please write your answer in the chat box. Okay, I can also see see answers telling me that it is part also of the recent you know, trends, correct? Popular, like what we call the, the Korean pop, oh, K-pop, no, the P-pop, no? what is existing and what is common and what is being practiced in the present are also considered as popular. So later in this part of the discussion, we will be able to combine the word popular plus culture. So if we will uh, if we can already associate word culture to another word and popular to another word, so it seems that we can combine the two words popular culture and we can create a definition out of those association that we make. So our dear students, our listeners, and our viewers right now, so those are popular, those are association of the word popular and the word culture. Okay? So on that stage, we are just eliciting your prior knowledge because you might be, uh, this is your first time, no? or you might forget your discussion during your uh, elementary years, your high school years, because culture is part of the discussion of social studies before, or also called Aralim Panlipunan in your lower grades, your middle high school, and even in your uh, in your senior high school years. So we have, uh, in your senior high school years, I think you also discuss about culture, no? Understanding society and politics, no? Uh, that's also part of uh, that discussion. Okay, so let me proceed to our next slide. Okay, 
prior going to the definition of popular culture, let's have first different definition uh, of these branches of knowledge of social sciences. So because when we talk about society and culture, there are branches of social sciences that we need to study. So the first one, we have the word sociology, okay? The word sociology, so we may get the word socio. Socio, it refers to society. So who is in the society? Of course, we can see that in the society, there are human beings living there. So before a society can be created, it will always start with the human being. Okay? When a human being find a partner and create an offspring, that's what we call a family. No, a group of the family is the smallest unit of society. Then a group of family, that's what we call barangay. Or that is also called our community. So a group of community, it is now society. Like our country is an example of society where human beings are living. So when we talk about sociology, we are talking about the human society at the given period of time. So meaning to say, when we study society and culture, history is always involved in the discussion. Meaning to say, we cannot separate the study of history, the past, no? of the human being on its own in their own society. So because we are talking about popular and talking about popular that is existing current recent so the period of time that we are going to study the type of society that the human being having right now is the existing so we will focus when we talk about the study of human society right now so that we can understand the culture of the people in a certain society but it is not only limited on that, no? when we talk about sociology, it's not only limited on the present because we are talking about popular. We, when we talk about the present, the past is always involved because we cannot understand the present situation, the present human society, if we will not go back to the history, the origin. No, We cannot prepare for our future. We cannot understand what is happening right now if we, if we will not go back to history or the past. So history is an important element in talking about on the study of human society or sociology. Okay, I hope that you uh, grasp that idea about the study of sociology. Now, a partner ng society and culture because the culture will exist in the human society. There is no such human society, there is no such society na walang culture. Meaning to say, kaakibat na society ang culture. Vice versa, culture needs society in order for that culture to exist. No? And that society needs to have the de different type of culture. So, culture may exist. Culture, that certain practice or culture may vanish depending on the situation. Okay? The second branch of social sciences, that social science that we are going also to talk when we, when we discuss popular culture is anthropology okay anthropology these are the study of human beings and nabay makadumdum dire a unsang stages sa evolution Charles Darwin, oh, look at this presentation. No, It was stated that kanina mga tao sa Philippines, ang pinakaunang tao ay tinawag na Tabon Man, live in Palawan. Can you still remember your Aralim Panlipunan or your social, uh, your science subject, biology on the evolution of human being? Start, the first one is, sa man, we have the homonym. Hey, this is an ape-like man. No? What's next? Homo. Ah? 
May rekto. Oh, ah, dili na maong sequence. Dapat sequence na siya. Kay kita mo ana kan Charles Darwin katong iyang drawing bitaw. Oh, makadumdum pa mo wala na. Dili na mo makadumdum. So number two is Homo habilis. Oh, Homo habilis is what we call the skillful man. Okay. Uh, skillful man. So meaning Natuto na silang gumamit ng mga kasangkapan, kagamitan sa panahon ng lumang bato. O, oh, kalimot na mo ano yung topic, no? Humo habilis. What's next? O, katong gisong... Humo erectus, sir. Humo erectus, yeah. correct. Okay. Humo erectus, or these are what we call the upright man. Meaning to say, this is the, right, this is the time when human beings are evolving and they can stand upright. So, They are going to use their two feet, no? Uh, two foot. So meaning, duha na iyan tiil nga gigamit, makalakaw na siya. So, ibig sabihin, nag-evolve siya, no? Mukhang tao na talaga. And pangapat ay ang homo sapiens. This is what we call the wise man. Hmm. And the recent one, the human being, what's the scientific name of human being? The modern man. Wise man dapat na number four. Okay, so right now, what is the scientific name of human being? Homo, Homo sapiens, sapiens, duha ka sapiens. So uh, please take note na lang ane. Homo sapiens, sapiens, or what we call the modern man. So this is the origin of the human being according to Charles Darwin. Ang kang John Lamarck is the survival of the fittest. No? Um, na uh, baluba mo sa mga theory sa sciences na ang giraffe, mo lang ito, mo nang exist iya kang taas nga liog kay because there is a competition for them to survive. Mo bitan nang sa klase po, murag na po yung survival of the fittest. No? Kinsay pinakadagag answer, mo yung pasar. Ang way answer, patay. ing anak po sa mga nilabay na mga katuigan. So, ang tao na kinahanglan niya mo adjust sa iyang environment, eh kung dili, dili siya makasurvive. So, look at what happened to the giraffe. He, oh, that giraffe wanted to survive. That is because wa na pagkaon sa ground, so kinahanglan niya extend niyang liog. Murag ka mo ba kung sa face-to-face -face mga klase, survival of the pitis, para makakupia, kung sa may buhaton, Pataas ng liog. Oo, oh, pataas ng liog. So, kung sige mong pangupya, mahimo mong giraffe, no? Kay makondisyon man. That's what we call conditioning. No? Kung maanad na itong uto, ang atong lawas, o sige stretch, mo na bang mag-exercise? Why do we need to exercise? Kaya para makusgan ta, maanad itong lawas. So, para survive ang mga animals, ang mga creations, creatures sa una, because they need to adapt to the environment. Mo na po kita, di ba? When we go to other place, Kung dili taka just na that is what we call the cold the the culture shock, di ba? May masakit ta, maluya ta, kaya what taka just environment. It seems uh, it is the same with other creatures here in the world sa una daw. So kinahanglan para makasurvive, kinahanglan nila i i utilize ang ilahang mga uh, skills, ang ilahang mga body parts para mutaas or para magamit nila para makasurvive. That's what we call survival of the fittest. No? So, maupod sa tao, no? ang mga dolphins daw, no? there is a theory about, this is theory, no? when you talk about theory, these are not yet proven and it's not universally accepted. It is just a study where it is not yet proven. No? So, the opposite of theory is law. No? When we say law, it's universally accepted. But if it is theory, It, and it still undergoes studies and there is no proof that that is true. No? But it is also a basis of, uh, of a discussion or a principle. Example, ang mga dolphin daw sa una is na adaw tiil. So, kay kinanglan, kay naalaman sila sa dagat, di naman magamit. So, kay wala naman nila gigamit, what, what will happen? nawala daw siya. The theory of use, the theory, theory, theory of use and disuse. Oh. 
So, ang ang gaganiha, kan dyan lang mark niya po na, the theory of use and disuse. Kung sige nyo mo gamitin, kung sa may may tabo, mahasa ka. Muna yung utok, kung sige ka basa, sige ka English, sige ka speak of the language, therefore, mahasa na, that's what we call the theory of use. Kung sige nyo mo gamitin, magamit nyo mo, mahasa, gina na. Kung dili na na nyo gamitin, o, oh, mauto nga ang mga, according to theory on studies, nga ang mga dolphin daw sa una na itiil, kung niya kayo namuyo naman sila sa dagat, magamit pa din na, di na. So, hinahina siyang nawala ang ilang tiil, nag-evolve. So, wala na wala na wala na tiil. That's the theory of disuse. So, kamo po, mga esudyante, gamitan niyo po minting auto, okay, pag di na ta magamit, di na puslan, may muna nabagin na itong mama sa balay nga, na ito mang baboy, ano, mabaligya, mapuslan pa man. Kamu sige ra mong kaon, di mo mabaligya. So, sakit kay pa malagbungod. So, kita po ng mga estudyante, o kamu nga mga estudyante, atong ipatter na ato ang ato ang kinabuhi isip estudyante sa theory of use and disuse. Kanang imong auto, kung di na na magamit, maun sama na, muhabol, makaya, mawa na imong auto. Di na na magamit, di na ka pa. Kanang, karun, ting exam na, karun pa ka nagtoon na, theory of disuse na, Kaya kung nakay practice, constant practice no, sa mga BN student, no, the different theories of learning. So, kung na-condition ni mong auto, kung sige ka, no, matayan, correct, matayan. Kung sige na ni mong gamito ni mong auto, sige ka basa, newspaper, mga, mga research paper, sige ka basa na muhait na ni mong auto. Maayo ka mo istorya. Kaya sige, makagbasa ang mga English o uban pa. Ang dili po, Theory of disuse na na siya. Ang gala na lang na yung mong utok, ibaliga, ipatimbang, kumahalin ba? Na, mabaid na. Oh, correct, di ba? So, yun nga na ang ato ang kwan. That's what we call in the study of the survival of the fittest. We need to adjust to the environment. Kaya nag-education man ka, ipili man yung mong education, it is expected nga, naghanggit kang mga reporting, isang online pa ni, you are expected na good in communication skills because you are facing different individuals, different students. You need to you need to overcome your fear in speaking the language. So, mga gini number one ako ginasulti sa mga estudyante before ko mag-start sa first day sa mong klase, we need to intensify our oral communication skills because that is our weapon as future teacher. Dili pwede ang teacher hilumon. Dili pwede ang teacher gatakpo mang baba. Or masking dili teacher, if you are a professional, you need to talk. You deal with different individuals. So mauna, i-practice din ako dito maulaw. Kaya kita po lagi, mga tawa man, masayok ka mag in English. Remember, we are not a native speaker of the language. That is why we are going to challenge. There are ways in order for you to improve. I have several videos, no, on nag sa una nagabuhat ng ilikum mga mga videos when it how to conquer your fear in speaking, a bit speaking and whatsoever. Sige lang ako po na ishare sa inyo ha para ma-develop ang communication skills. Okay, going back to the presentation. Kasi nsa na kayo magtabok-tabok din ni ako. Uh, one minute lang ha, kaya magkuha sa kong tubig. Kadali lang yung kaya.
Okay, are you still there? Uh, please press 1 if you are still there. Everybody, to check your attendance. If you are still there, press 1 in the chat box. Let us check if you are still there, my dear students. Press 1 in the chat box. Kanaw na to ni, kasi wala nang uban. Okay, press 1 in the chat box if you are still there. Ang uban, nag-press na po siguro ni Wakabaloon sa higit. Discussan. Kaya kaganiha, pila ra kasi dyan, tikulo upat pa rin maningog. So ipalib na lang na ko ng uban, kaya di ba maningog. Okay, thank you so much for being there and waiting for me for a minute. So let's start, let's continue. So let's have the beginnings of anthropology and sociology in the Philippines. Again, going back to our discussion, musugod tagbalik sa study of anthropology and sociology. So the beginnings of anthropology here in the Philippines go back to the period of discovery. So, no, naingon ko nga, kaning duha, nga siya relation sa subject area nga, um, history. That is why it is connected. So, kung nakadumdum mo sa inyong subject sa history, sa panahon ng pananakop, sa panahon ng paglalayag, sa panahon ng pagpuklas, o Tagalog English ni ha, no, this is the period of discovery. Noong 19th century, nang tayo ay sakupin ng mga mananakop, ng mga Espanyol, ay dito nagsimula ang pag-aaral ng antropolohiya at sosyolohiya. Tagalog yun kasi kami sa high school, ang ginagamit namin ay wikang Pilipino sa araling panipunan. So it started in the age of discovery. Sa maning discovery sa Tagalog, ito ay sa panahon ng pagpuklas. We have two countries. What do you think are the two countries who started the colonization, the, the exploration? So, ang number one o ang number two country, Anna, in the 19th century. What's the two countries? Uh, so, first mm -hmm. country to explore the world, to send an exploration. Ang mga una, ang pinakaunang bansa sa Europa o sa buong mundo na nagpadala ng mga eksplorasyon, pagtuklas, paggalugad. Oh, so, grabe ito ka term ha, in 19th centuries. These are the two countries. The first one starts with letter P. What country is that? Anybody? Portugal, Anybody? sir. Portugal. Correct. Very good. The second country is? Starts with letter S. Spain. 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 Oh, thank you so much for that, no? So, these are the two countries who started the exploration. So, sila yung unang dalawang bansa at particularmente ay ang ating mga mananakop na Espanyol. Sila ang nagdala sa Pilipinas sa pag-aaral ng antropolohiya. So, the sources of facts are accounts of the Western explorers. So, kinsama inyong nailhan ng Western explorers. Alaman na sa inyong history nga class. Hello. Si Dura rin yung naibawaan niya. Magellan, sir. Ah, si Magellan. Magellan, sir. Who else? Magellan, Ragyot? Si Magellan, ang ginagawa doon naman, no? We have Christopher Columbus, no? Vasco de Gama. But of course, the most famous explorer in the world is Ferdinand Magellan. We have also the missionaries. Kisa man eh, naman sa re-end nga subject. Kisa man lang mga missionaries. Daube? Daube? Priest nga mga... Priest. So, example of the missionaries who came to our country. Oh, wala na sila kabalo. Like? Augustinian. Uh, Augustinian. Yes. What else? Recoletos. Kabantay mo na mga eskilahan ng managko nga ruled by the man and ruled by the priest. Mao na ang mga gipantaon na eskilahan ng mga, sa mga missionaries. Mao nang niabot ang anthropology and sociology sa Philippines. Like, kung nag-swila ka sa Xavier, sa so mga sila, Xavier University, Ateneo, these are Society of Jesus, or what we call the Jesuit Missionaries. The Recoletos, kung nag-swila ka sa University of San Jose, Recoletos, sa Cebu, mo na mga pari na sila, no? Like, we also have the Franciscans, Augustinians, Dominicans. Oh, namin sa inyong read, oy. History of the Philippine Church, no? So, that's all about the missionaries. Sila ang mga una na itong mga teachers, di ba? 
kung nakadumdum mo sa inyo ang high school sa Pilipino subject sa grade 9 o grade 10, na tinalakay ninyo ang Enfilibus Turismo at nulimitang nyo eh, nandoon ang mga fraile, no? Friars. Sila na ang nag-introduce sa Tuana, no? Kung nakaila mo ni Kuan, na kaning Lopez Haina, na nagsulat siya ng kanyang aklat na Fry Butod, no? Fry Butod. Kanin si Lopez Haina sa history, he is the chief, he is the editor-in-chief of La Solidaridad, And he also wrote a book entitled Fry Butod. This is a criticism of the friars, their abuses, extravagant way of living during the Spanish colonization to our country. Fry kay Butod, mga pari, saan mo na dahil ko nagtiyan, di ba? Muna, sila para Padre Damaso, mga nainga ko na dunggan, di ba? Okay, aside from them, kinsa pa yung nagdalaan niya ng mga facts of that accounts. Mga information, we have also the soldiers, the colonial officials like the governor general, no? Mga na siya, Royal Odensha, no? Kana mga, magawa sa magiging sa board exam, mga palangga na ito, mga education student, na gandiyan ni Kaayo sa history related niya. Labi na mo karoon, no? So, minta sa iyo pa, kanina mga jack subject, magawa sa ginawa siya na mga inaanit. Regarding the strange behavior and beliefs as well as the exotic appearance, no? Nga namang strange behavior, kay dili manta pareha o behavior sa mga Western people, pag-abot na ila perde na medyo lang sa Pilipinas, sa tingnan siya ngayon, nga naman yung mga naong nila. Nga nung ingani man ilang panuot. Nga nung pagano man sila. Nga si pagano, sa man ang pagano? Pagan. What's pagan? Pagan believers. Pagan. No? Katong mga tao nga magsamba o mga Just Joseph. Just Joseph. Oh, mga rebulto, ay mga mga puno, araw, no? Sino yung Joseph ng mga Pilipino dante? Such a letter B. Hey, bitagin mo karon. Bagari. Batala. Batala. Very good. So ang batala. Siya yung tinaguri ang Joseph ng mga Pilipino, no? Ang ang mga Joseph Josan, ang lalaki. Say tawag, Anito. Kaya alam mo, Anito? Mga espiritu, no? Yes, sir. Kung lalaki ko babae, ay gignag, Anita, ha? Banta na lang mo ito mag Anita. Kung say pare sa Anito, kung babae, start sa letter D. O sige mo, anig sayaw. Ay. Diwata. O, Diwata. So, nakalimot, naging mo, anig. Pag grid trim, anig, si Bika at kultura na topic. So, Bathala is the main god, and they have also god and goddesses. No? So, anito, ang mga lalaki, anito, ang mga babae, mga diwata. Di ba? Ano ba yan na? So, nang dumating ang mga Espanyol sa Pilipinas, ang mga foreign, ang mga explorers, sila nagdala ng mga uh, the study of anthropology and sociology sa Philippines. But, na-observe nila, there are strange behavior. Why is it, is, why is it identified as strange? Because it is different from their behavior, their beliefs. No, kay sila man na nagintroduce sa Philippines of three Gs. Sa manin three Gs, ini ka na wonder aba sing chupaw na ka three Gs. Three Gs ay what's three Gs? Tatlong G. Wala na nakadumdum. God. Oi. Gold. Gold and glory. So. Ibig sabihin, they introduce us the Christianity to our country. So, dyan nagsimula ang pag-aaral ng antropolohiya at sosolohiya. God, introduction of Christianity to the Filipino people. Because we are formerly pagan. No? If not because, of the uh, not because of the Spanish colonizer, we might be Muslim people or might be still a pagan believe, uh, part of the pagan believers. No? Okay. Discovers of flint tools. You say flint tools. Tapos na king ko na ay na ay ani may anak ka ng kuan sa galing ng flint stones, no? Flint tools. Oh, nang natuklasan ang mga kagamitan yari sa bato, ng mga tinapias na bato, biak na bato, ay dito nagsimula ang pagukay ng mga artifacts. Kasi man ang artifacts. Anybody? What's an artifacts? Can you give me 
an information of the word artifacts. So, say artifacts. Makaraang gamit. Isa pa. This, naman sa inyong history. Artifacts are example of sa primary sources. Mga man yung pinakaunan yung topic sa history, di ba? Identifying primary and secondary sources. Example of artifacts. Anybody? Example of artifacts. Art, this, sir. Ah, again? Example of artifacts. Jewelry, Art. sir. Okay. Jewelry. What else? Um, most like, most uh, example of artifacts are mga sinaunang kagamitan ng mga tao. No? It could be also remnants of an object or mga bangkay, buto, skull na mga sinaunang tao. No? Sa Art banga. Mm, mga banga, bungo, yun. These are evidences of information that could be excavated, no? Excavated, hukayon sa ilalong kay na natambak na. Mga example sa Philippines, example dito sa Pilip sa Mindanao, particular dito sa Butuan, no? There is an artifacts no? Being excavated that the Balanghay boat in Libertad, no? Or in some parts of Butuan, no? Na mayroong mga nahukay na mga artifacts that saying na nandito ang mga Balanghay, no? Ana, Okay, so that's the beginning of anthropology and sociology. These discoveries happen at a time when advances in physics, chemistry were made, arousing interest in scientific inquiry. In the 19th century, anthropology began to take shape as a separate field of study that had its root of natural sciences, social sciences, and humanities. Okay, so please take note of these following individuals. They are very important people in the study of sociology and anthropology. We have Edward Tyler, was the first professor of anthropology. Siya ang kaunahang professor ng anthropology sa paaralan sa universidad sa Oxford, England. So Oxford University in England, si Edward Tyler. And in United States, the first professor is Franz Boas of Clark University, Massachusetts. Okay, these are significant individuals that you need to note, take note on the following. Okay, we have another term, ethnography. Ethnography is a systematic study of people and culture. So when we talk about the studying of people and its culture, it is called ethnography. The person who is being, the one who is studying ethnography is what we call ethnographer. The root word is ethno or ethnicity, the group, no? Ethno, ethnicity. The person who is studying the people and culture is called ethnographer. Okay, so we are done with the origin of sociology and anthropology. So there is a need for us to trace back the study of culture and society. That is why before Tani proceeds sa defining popular culture, uh, nagkuan sa ta, nag-study sa ta o kanang uh, sociology and anthropology. Okay, so may I ask somebody to to read the first bullet of the definition of pop culture? Can we have Janine? Janine, please. Yes, sir. Okay, for a while. For a moment. Okay, go. The entire slides na lang. Go ahead. Defining popular culture. Popular culture or pop culture refers in general to the traditions and material culture of a particular society. In the modern West, pop culture refers to cultural products such as music, art, literature, fashion, dance, film, cyber culture, television, and radio that are consumed by the majority of a society's population. Popular culture is those types of media that have mass accessibility and appeal. The term popular culture 
was coined in the mid 19th century and it is referred to the cultural traditions of the people. In the contrast to the official culture of the state of governing classes, in broad use today, it is defined in qualitative terms. Pop culture is often considered a more superficial or lesser type of artistic expression. Okay, thank you so much for reading the, the slide for, as we define popular culture. Going back, no, it refers to general tradition. So kanina, kaya sinabi, nagtanong ako kung ano ang iyong nasa isip kapag narinig ang salitang culture, lumabas talaga ang salitang tradition. And another term na nandito para mas, ma mas maintindihan natin ay ang salitang material culture. When I say material culture, these are tangible. Tangible, kala magunita na ito. No? Ang mga, ang mga non-material culture, katong mga beliefs, no? kanang mga uh, practices, no? uh, kanang mga traditions, nila man ito na magunitan. Ang mga magunitan, mauna siya ang mga pop culture kasagaran, television, radio, cyber culture, that are being consumed by majority of the society's population. So, Mona, kaganihan ang utana ko kung say mo gawas sa inyong utok kung makadungog ka word na popular na ingon tong inyong classmate na common. Oh, Mona, siya karon. Common culture. So, which are being consumed majority, halos tanan na mga tao sa isa ka society and its population. Okay? So, klaro kay sa ito ang pangunak-unak karon na ang definition sa popular culture are general tradition and material culture of a certain society which are being consumed by the majority of a society's population. So, on sa may kasagaran sa pag-culture types, o pag musulti kag popular culture, dili mawala ang media. Mautong sa atong description kaganiha, klaro kaayo nga na-discuss ang mga media. So, isa sa atong mga discussion unya, pag muabot na dito sa latter part, we will discuss different types of media. Diri ang nga topic o kanao talawa. Commercial culture, consumption of pop culture, pop culture in digital age, globalization, local culture, and global culture. So, dira ah, it is expected na moabot ang time na ang atong mga expected output, no, ing anak yun, ing atong yun ang atong expected output na natay in relation, mag, mag video vlog ta, na by group, no, mag-create mo og mga media. Okay? Because that is what we call popular culture. Sige, sige lang. In, in the latter part na taan na. Okay, time check. We still have 8 minutes to go before we end our session for this after, this morning. Another definition. May I ask somebody? Let's have uh, Escobal. Please read the slide. Escobal, go ahead. Mr. Escobal, are you there? Wala. So, can we have uh, Dupalco? Dupalco, Christ, Christ then. Christ then, Dupalco? Go ahead, Sir, please. Defining popular culture. Popular culture is the set of practice, belief, and object that embody the most broadly shared meaning of a social system. It includes media, object, entertainment, and leisure, fashion, and trends, linguistic conversation, among other things. Popular culture is usually associated with either mass culture or folk culture and differentiated from high culture and various institutional culture, political culture, educational culture, and legal culture, and etc. Okay, thank you so much for reading that slide. So. It is uh, being understood that popular culture are broadly shared, no? broadly shared meanings of social system. So, meaning, ang tanan ng mga tao, kabalo ana, no? because it is being shared from other individuals, no? from other group of people in our social system. This is social system, ang atong society as one. No? Kung sa may sulod, it includes media objects such as entertainment. We will be talking about entertainment here. That is why if you try to look at on the first slide of the picture, these are another type, different forms of entertainment, like sports, arts, music, 
and the rest of the other types of, of entertainment. So, ato na siya madiscuss ang dira, ah. Okay? So, that's the culture itself. Okay? Another one, let's have another one to read, another definition. So, let's have Melody. The Gawan, are you there? Can you read the two sure. bulleted item for this slide? Go ahead, please. Defining popular culture heavily influenced in modern times by mass media, this collection of ideas permeates the everyday lives of people in a given society. Therefore, popular culture Popular culture has a way of influencing an individual's attitudes towards certain topics. However, there are various ways to define pop culture. Because of this, popular culture is something that can be defined in a variety of conflicting ways by different people across different contexts. It is generally viewed in contrast to other forms of culture, such as folk cults, working class culture, postmodernism and entertainment just film television sports news as in people or places in the news fashions technology and slang okay thank you so much for reading that one so Another definition of popular culture, it is an everyday lives of people in a given society. So, kagalinya sa word na culture pa lang, it's a way of living. Okay? Sometimes, it will have different variation. No, nakabutang liya, popular culture is something that can be defined in a variety of conflicting ways of different people across different contexts. Okay, to continue, another uh, definition uh, that was this that was being uh, identified by John Story, six different definition of popular culture. Uh, let let me call another student to please read the. Uh, uh, yes, Eileen, thank you so much for volunteering. Please yes, read sir. number one to three. Okay, the num uh, number one, popular culture is simply a uh, culture that is widely favored or well liked by many people, such as it has no, uh, it, it has no negative connotations. Go ahead, continue until number three. Sir, um, number two, popular culture is whatever is left after you and it identified what high culture is in this definition. Pop culture is considered inferior and it functions as a marker of status of and class. Number three, pop culture can be defined as commercial objects that are produced by mass consumption, consumption by an discriminating consumers. In this definition, popular culture is a tool used by the elites to suppress or take advantage of the masses. Mm -hmm. So, meaning to say, naapo di ay mga discrimination, no? So, ang high culture ka nang ginagamit, gina-perform, gina-practice sa mga elite, no? When 